Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Storage Place Parameter Chaser to fade in effect layers. In the task, we will work with two different effect layers. Effect layer 1 should consist of the SCE gradient with two colors, red and black, and the direction, shape, circle, implode. The effect layer 2 should consist of the SCE star field with a rotation of 50. All other effect parameter we let as default. The storage place parameter chaser should consist of three steps. At the first step, no visual output should be displayed for 0.5 seconds. At the second step, the SCE gradient effect should be faded in with a fade time of 2 seconds. And at the third step, the SCE star field effect should become visible with a fade time of 3 seconds. Now let us start. According to our task, the SCE gradient effect should be displayed at the first effect layer. To choose the SCE gradient effect, we click the effect selection button and select SCE gradient. According to the task, only two colors should be represented with this gradient. So we delete all other colors. The first color should be red and the second one we have to change to black. As direction, we choose Shape 2D Implode. Now we have to add a second effect layer. Therefore, we navigate to the Layer button, perform a right click, and select New. This second layer should consist of the SCE star field. Therefore, we click again the effect selection button and choose SCE star field. We want to change the rotation to 50 and now we can start to create our storage place parameter chaser. To open the storage place parameter chaser, we perform a right click at the storage place parameter chaser button and select edit. Now we have to change the parameter to visibility settings. That means we will disable all other settings and enable layer visibility settings and click OK to accept it. Furthermore, we want to change the loop count to only one. And now we can start to add our chaser steps. Now I want to change the view to the layer view because I will have the direct access to the opacity value for every effect layer. For the first step we want to set the opacity to zero for both layers. Now we click the plus button to add this as a step. According to the task the fade time should be zero and the wait time should be 0.5 seconds. To change the fade time or wait time, simply perform a double click at the desired column. In the next step, we want to change the opacity of the gradient to the value 255. And now we click plus again. According to the task, the fade time should be set to 2 seconds and the wait time to 3 seconds. And in the last step of this chaser, we change the opacity of the star field layer also to 255 and click the plus button again. Now we have to change the wait time to 3 seconds. By the way, we don't need to change the wait time in this example. B 
because this chaser will run only one time and so it will ignore the wait time for the last step. Now let us test. We close the storage place parameter chaser, activate another storage place. And now we start the effect by selecting the desired storage place. Now you can see after 0.5 seconds the gradient effect will be enabled and after a wait time of 3 seconds the starfield effect layer will be enabled also. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.